Folks have been asking about a deadly parasite that's killing sea otters. It's called Toxoplasma gondii, or Toxo for short, and it's hitting the southern sea otter population pretty hard. Some people know Toxo as the kitty litter parasite because cats are the definitive host and spread it through their feces. Many diseases infecting humans and animals are caused by tiny parasitic microorganisms. Scientists have studied this parasite for many, many years, and the only group of animals that are known to shed that are cats which is very interesting, cats of any type. So that includes uh, domestic cats like pet cats as well as bobcats and mountain lions as well. Toxo is a complex life cycle with two phases requiring multiple hosts. Sexual reproduction of the parasite takes place in the definitive host, cats, who contract the disease when they eat an infected intermediate host. Here she comes, why she's coming down the steps and going into the cellar. She often catches mice in the cellar. The parasites spread to places like the lungs, eyes, and brain, and can remain in the animal for a really long time. When infected cats poop, they shed millions of the parasite's hardy eggs, known as oocysts. Once in the environment, the water and the soil, the eggs are picked up by worms and insects. These are eaten by intermediate host animals like small rodents or birds. And when cats catch and eat those, the cycle continues. Water comes to us in the form of rain, of course. All the water that we get on Earth comes out of the skies and then drains into the little brooks and the little brooks into the larger brooks and the streams and finally the rivers and lakes and into the ocean. Toxo-oocysts reach otters when infected poop washes from fresh water into the ocean. Invertebrates that live near shore, such as snails and clams, not the parasite's natural hosts, can ingest the eggs and accumulate them to much greater concentrations than found in ocean water or on land. Once the parasite enters the otter, the infection attacks the brain and is believed to change the animal's behavior. In the worst cases, it leads to death. The toxo egg stage can survive the sewage treatment process. So for a long time, it was thought that the main source of toxo affecting sea otters was from people flushing cat poop. Warning labels were placed on kitty litter bags, and the state of California will even fine you for flushing it. But now, scientists are also starting to look elsewhere for a source. But this water that scours the earth and the city streets and is full of garbage and sewage and waste products and dirt of all kinds. One thing that we can do with it is simply to pour it out where we want. Our data so far seems to really indicate that the main source of this parasite's eggs that, uh, for exposure for sea otters is through polluted runoff and not necessarily through uh, sewage treatment systems. We know it can probably happen, but our data really seems to support more that otters are getting exposed through contaminated freshwater. So it's feces that are deposited on land, washed into local streams, and then from there washed down into oceans. So we asked Dr. Miller, what can we do to limit the effects of toxo in the marine environment? I have cats. I actually love cats. And I, um, through my work, I ended up, as all veterinarians did, with three cats. Um, but my cats are 100% indoors and I'm very careful about where their waste goes. Based on the science we know right now, the best thing to do is to take the cat feces that are in the cat box, you wanna collect it as soon as possible, put it in a plastic bag, and then dispose of it in your regular trash in a sealed plastic bag um, so that it goes to a approved landfill. It just makes good sense. Today in laboratories, work is conducted that leads to control of the microorganisms that are foes to mankind in order to make human life more healthful and increase our standard of living. Toxoplasma is yet another land-based problem finding its way into the ocean and infecting sea otters. But the really troubling thing about this disease is that the animal's hardest hit are young adults and animals that are about to start breeding. This is disastrous for a population trying to recover. So what can you do? Take care of our fresh water. You never know what's gonna end up in the ocean.